My name is Lavarang Masho and I'm studying a Bachelor of Arts degree majoring in History and Journalism. One thing my family has always taught me was that there is one thing that never breaks and that's the family bond. No matter what happens, no matter how betrayed you feel, at some point you guys need to sit, up, sit down and talk about it. You know? Because love in the family context, if you don't have love in your family then you're going to go out looking for it in all the wrong places. Gonna, and you're gonna find that kind of love that you are aspiring to and won't be the kind of love that you really you really need my parents divorced when I was like eight years old and to me the whole process of the divorce itself was not necessarily a smooth transition as many people might find that you know the parents will come and say hey we're going through a divorce and this is what's happening it's happening it came as a shock it's like one day you have your family you have you're living within your space of a family you understand that your dad exists and your mom exists even though you don't necessarily live in the same house but you understand that they married and this is a wholesome family because when we come together we have that family bond and then one day you find out that no your parents are divorcing so people tend to think that the way I view relationships now is because of the whole experience with my parents divorce but in reality, that experience has taught me that nothing is ever as it seems and especially within the relationship space, like what you see on the outside is not necessarily what's being reflected on the inside when it comes to relationships. I think you know someone for so long and then one day you find out a whole bag of information coming out of them, about them, like, oh, this was, this was really you this entire time? When you were saying this, this is what you actually meant? You know, when you're saying you have business trip, that's what you actually meant. Like, when you say, like, you, you start to learn, out of, like, that's what I learned from a very young age, that nothing is as it seems. I never crucified my father for being himself, and I don't think I could ever crucify him for that. But I did find it very unfair that you're being yourself at the expense of other people. I got into relationships at an age where many people were like, oh, you probably had no business falling in love in the first place, you know? I think one of the best moments in all of my relationships is when I realized that my little cousins trust me way more than I trust myself. I don't understand how like those kids come to me with so much information and so much things that they can't even tell their own mothers or their own sisters. They come with me they come to me and say, Hey, this is what's happening in my life and for me it I feel like we all need that support structure. I wish I had someone growing up where I could go and say, hey, I've been feeling this and this and this. Um, I'm having boy trouble or I'm having girl trouble. I wish I had someone who would be like, hey, can you please talk to me about this? Can you please give me advice?